Casa Mila, popularly known as La Pedrera or the Stone Quarry, a reference to its unconventional rough-hewn appearance, is a modernist building in Barcelona, Catalonia, Spain. It was the last private residence designed by architect Antony Gaudi and was built between 1906 and 1912. The building was commissioned in 1906 by Permiela and his wife Rosa Segaman. At the time, it was controversial because of its undulating stone facade, twisting wrought iron balconies, and designed by Josep Maria Juhol. Several structural innovations include a self-supporting stone facade, and a free-plan floor, underground garage and a spectacular terrace on the roof. In 1984 it was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. From 2013 is the headquarters of the Fintasio Catalunya La Pedrera which manages the visit to the building, exhibitions and other cultural and educative activities at Casa Mila. Casa Mila was built for Rosa Segman and her husband Permila. Rosa Segman was the wealthy widow of Joseph Guardiola, an Indiano or Americano, or former colonist returned from South America, had made his fortune with a coffee plantation in Guatemala. Her second husband, Permila, was a developer known for his flamboyant lifestyle. Construction Process In 1905 Mila and Segman married and on June 9 Roser Segman bought a house with garden which occupied an area of 1,835 square meters, located on Paseo de Gracia, 92. In September, they commissioned Gaudi for building them a new house with the idea of living in the main floor and renting out the rest of the apartments. On February 2, 1906 the project was presented to the Barcelona City Council and the works began, demolishing the pre-existing building instead of reforming it, as in the case of the Casa Bartolo. The building was completed in December 1910 and the owner asked Gaudi to make a certificate to inhabit the main floor, which the City Council authorized in October 1911 and the couple moved in. On October 31, 1912 Gaudi issued the certificate stating that, in accordance with his plans and his direction, the work had been completed and the whole house was ready to be rented. Roof and Chimneys The work of Gaudi on the rooftop of La Pedrera brought his experience at Palau Gul together with solutions that were clearly more innovative, this time creating shapes and volumes with more body, more prominence, and less polychromasia. On the rooftop there are six skylight staircase exits four of which were covered with broken pottery and some that ended in a double cross typical of Gaudi. 28 chimneys in several groupings, two half-hidden vents whose function is to renew the air in the building, and four domes that discharge to the facade. The staircase is also housed the water tanks, some of which are snail-shaped. The stepped roof of La Pedrera, called, the Garden of Warriors, by the poet Pergimperer because the chimneys appear to be protecting the skylights, has undergone a radical restoration. Removing chimneys added in interventions after Gaudi, television antennas, and other elements that degraded the space. The restoration brought back the splendor to the chimneys and the skylights that were covered with fragments of marble and broken Valencia tiles. One of the chimneys was topped with glass pieces, it was said that Gaudi did that the day after the inauguration of the building, taking advantage of the empty bottles from the party. It was restored with the bases of champagne bottles from the early 20th century. The repair work has enabled the restoration of the original impact of the overhangs made of stone from old Icona with fragments of tiles. This whole set is more colorful than the facade, although here the creamy tones are dominant. any rules of conventional style, for which Gaudi received much criticism. 
To begin with the name, La Pedrera is in fact a nickname assigned by the citizens who disapproved of its unusualness. The unique structure of the building and the relationship between the building's architect and Fermila became the object of ridicule for the people of Barcelona and many humorous publications of Catholic symbols. A fragment from first drafts of the architectural plans from 1906 showing the sculptures mounted on the upper facade. Gaudi, a Catholic a devotee of the Virgin Mary, planned for the Casa Mila to be a spiritual symbol. Overt religious elements include an excerpt from the Rosary on the cornice and planned statues of Marie, specifically Our Lady of the Rosary, and two archangels, Saint Michael and Saint Gabriel. However, the Casa Mila was not built entirely to goddess specifications. The local government ordered the demolition of elements that exceeded the height standard for the city and fined the Milas for many infractions of building codes. After Somana Tragica, an outbreak of anti-clericalism in the city, Mila prudently decided to forego the religious statues. Gaudi contemplated abandoning the project but a priest persuaded him to continue. Design the building is 1,323 square meters per floor on a plot of 1,620 square meters. Gaudi made the first sketches in his workshop in the Sagrada Familia. He designed the house as a constant curve both outside and inside, incorporating rural geometry and naturalistic elements. Casa Mila consists of two buildings, which are structured around two courtyards that provide light to the nine stories basement, ground floor, mezzanine, main, or noble, floor, four upper floors, and an attic. The basement was intended to be the garage, the main floor the residence of the Milas, a flat of all 1,323 square meters, and the rest distributed over 20 apartments. The resulting layout is shaped like an asymmetrical eight because of the different shapes and sizes of the courtyards.
Thank you.